This video is the first part of our discussion of photosynthesis, which we will define as using light energy to reduce carbon dioxide to make carbohydrate. Lots of organisms are able to photosynthesize, including not just land plants, but algae in the ocean, these large macroscopic algae. We also have microscopic unicellular algae, um, as well as cyanobacteria, shown here. And there's even uh, more primitive photosynthetic bacteria that are able to uh, be photoautotrophs. There are some other organisms that are able to use light energy to make ATP, but those are phototrophic organisms that are unable to use light energy to reduce carbon dioxide to carbohydrate. So our discussion is confined to those organisms that are photoautotrophs, meaning they use light energy to both make ATP and reduce carbon dioxide to carbohydrate. In this video, we will be talking mostly about light reactions and address two questions. First, how photosynthetic organisms are able to capture light energy, that you can't do anything with that light energy unless you're able to capture it. And after they've captured light energy, how do they convert or transform light energy to chemical energy such as ATP and reducing power for use by the cell? The take-home points, we have three take-home points that I, uh, in this video. The first is that light energy is used to generate a proton gradient across a membrane for chemiosmotic ATP synthesis. This process is called photophosphorylation. And this is highly similar to oxidative phosphorylation that we discussed previously in respiration. Light energy is also used to reduce electron carriers. NADP plus is reduced to NADPH. NADP is a molecule that is nearly identical to NAD, the electron uh, carrier that we previously saw in terms of respiration. The only difference is that it's NAD with an extra phosphate. So to help you remember that photosynthesis uses NADP, Think about the P in NADP as standing for photosynthesis. So NADP is the photosynthetic electron carrier. Light energy is used to reduce NADP to NADPH, or N reduce, used to reduce NADP plus to NADPH. The third point is really important, that cyanobacteria invented a way to take electrons from water molecules instead of from organic molecules or inorganic donors such as sulfur. And in that once they invented this ability to take electrons from water molecules, they changed the history of life and the surface of the planet and literally took over the planet. Because what this process does as byproduct is it releases molecular oxygen. This first equation is the balanced chemical reaction for oxygenic photosynthesis. What I've done here is that you will notice there's water on both sides of the equation and I've highlighted the oxygen molecules or the oxygen atoms in water on the left side and the oxygen atoms in oxygen gas on the right side to indicate that actually those oxygen atoms that are released as oxygen gas through photosynthesis come from oxygen atoms in water and not from oxygen atoms in carbon dioxide. And this is exactly the reverse of aerobic respiration. We discussed in our video on aerobic respiration 
how again we can put water on both sides of the equation to denote that oxygen gas, the oxygen atoms and oxygen gas, are reduced to form water.